so in this lecture uh, i will start from the algorithm part once again and we'll now try to develop the uh, program or algorithm or program or i will try to program this g a simple program for g which can do certain calculations so if you see this uh, algorithm we'll just uh, see uh, what is happening most of the time as i told you calculating a fitness function or objective function will be of utmost importance so all the time we will be calculating objective function so your program should be able to uh, compute objective function and fitness function we'll see what it means actually uh, then uh, there are other things which are called operations so the, we will try to design the operators also okay so how this reproduction and uh, um, the operators of uh, crossover operator etc are made so first we'll see how to uh, what is the objective function what kind of object possibilities are objective functions are and how the fitness function comes from that so uh, i'll just try to see what are the different problem statements of a objective function or the problem which we need to solve with ga can be so one kind of problem is to a very can be very simple problem that minimize f of x where x is a vector which we have already seen earlier also uh, is constrained by bound constraints that is upper and lower bounds and fx is to be minimized so this is uh, a very very simple problem or you can say kind of simplest problem which is ready to, which which you can say it is in a ready made form to be solved with with uh, ga okay so this is one way in which the problem may occur uh, for solving with ga the other way other possible occurrences of problem is different statement that is again you have to minimize the problem minimize f of x which is the objective function and then you may have constraints i am deliberately not writing all the possible constraints it could be greater than zero less than zeros etc and uh, this this is also true for the same constant uh, if you have a greater than equal to type can also be converted into less than equal to type as you know so that's why i have written only one type of constant but it actually carry covers both of them so this problem uh, this will have f of x as well as constraint and of course the bound constraints as well so if the problem occurs in this way then we will we will normally have to transform the problem okay into a simpler form and this transform problem tx is now f of x which is same as this one plus k times g of x which is this okay greater than type so you have to minimize it so if i add some multiplier k is a penalty multiplier you can say that means if this particular constraint gx is is um, is um, <clears throat> is uh, not met or is violated then by multiplying that much by k you you or you make the tx higher okay so that is how the non meeting of constraints are penalized by multiplying it with k and adding to the uh, to the original function so this is done if you have gx less than 0 if uh, you have if it happens that uh, gx less than 0 so minus i think there is some mistake over here if gx is less than 0 then it actually i think there should be negative over here we have to minimize so if it is not meeting it should actually increase the value okay so g of x if it is less than 0 then i think it should be minus over here then only you can 
actually do this thing because gx will be already negative because it is uh, greater than zero is to be met and if it is less than zero then it should be minus here so if you put like this uh, you will see that if it is not met then the function is penalized it becomes higher and if it is met that is if it is greater than or equal to zero then only objective function appears as tx so this is actually a transformation of the function of course we are writing a slightly complex expression for it but still uh, if you see it appears in a very simple form that again we have got fx one one uh, function which is to be minimized and a bound constraint so this problem again becomes similar to the problem statement one okay now let us move to the next problem statement uh, you could also have problem statement of this type here again if you see uh, here again the problem is of minimizes minimize type minimize fx normally minimize is taken as a standard way of uh, expressing the problem so minimize and maximize are not basically two things you can always uh, write a minimization problem into maximization form just by uh, multiplying that function by minus one okay so minus fx you can write the same problem as maximize minus f of x so that would uh, what you call that would be a maximization type of problem. but normally problems are ex expressed as a minimized problem okay so here minimize f of x is the objective function and again i have this greater than equal to type of constraint and we have another constraint which is of exactly of equality type okay equality type constraints are slightly typical in handling it but we can handle and we'll again see that we'll try to uh, make this as a single objective function and bound constraints so single or uh, single objective function is defined in this way then a transformed one you have again fx i suppose this is negative here this has to be negative here because it will be minus here so we are minimizing so it will be penalized by that much amount and k times g1x similar to the last one and you if you see here gx2 which is equality constraint i have squared here because in equality both side of equality are penalized so that's why it is squared here and multiplied with q a penalty factor and then you take tx as a function as this if gx is less than zero otherwise you take this as as uh, minimize so minimize means again here this will be always be positive square so if it is less than zero then it is this way and otherwise it is this so if you see again that that whole system is put into a single single function tx and the bound constraint so idea of having a ga uh, programming uh, ga is uh, we try to put this objective function always uh, the problem will have a single objective function along with bound constraint there we are not going to handle constraints separately in this problem okay so constraint are handled along with the objective function by adding that to objective function by certain penalty factor and concept of penalty factor is that is if you are not meeting the constraint it will increase the value of f fx if you are meeting the constraint then it will not uh, do any effect and uh, for a minimization problem this is done with maximize you can do accordingly now let us see <clears throat> now so this is what we have seen all problems can be with this is the assumption here if you want to solve all the problems with ga then all problems can be expressed as maximum maximize or minimize as the case may be minimize f of x and with bound constraints so in, in any case the constraints can be other constraints can be put in form of f of x so that is how the objective function and constraints will appear in uh, for a uh, ga now let us see uh, how some of the things uh, we'll just start programming now 
So first thing is what we see here is what do we mean by a fitness function? Objective function is one which we need to do. What is fitness function? We'll just see. Fitness function is a special type of objective function. Okay, it is also an objective function whose all values fall in the range of 0 to 1. So that is uh, sometimes we require to have the range in 0 to 1 for applying this genetic algorithm effectively uh, because you need this fitness function to come into that value. And this 1 stands for the best fitness. Okay, So if you are minimizing then 1 will stand to the minimum value and 0 will stand for the least fitness. All objective functions can be transformed into fitness functions. Okay, so all objective function obviously can be transformed into fitness function, and there are several possible transformations. For example, this is one way of doing it. Okay, if fx is to be minimized, then I can write it like this. Similarly, you can have another one like this. So, this is how you get a fitness function if you see this value of course here we are assuming that fx is not going to be negative so by, by bound constraint we fix up beforehand that fx is not going to be negative and then if you see here it is always going to be in the range of 0 to 1 both of them there are other functions also possible uh, people have used different kind of fitness functions okay <coughs> so if you see this objective function, we'll just try to now we are moving towards the programming side, how to program and write fit, fit, uh, program to give you fitness function that we will see. So first thing is how to calculate the objective function. So objective function will require a function program that takes variables and returns a value as an objective value. Okay. So basically it will be a function named objective function and the return value out of that function is objective value and it has to take it should be able to take this array of variables okay so multivariable problem is there so x1 x2 up to xn and the below this it should be able to calculate the objective value and then the return the objective value so that will be as simple as that that will be objective function calculation through the program. Now let us see uh, how the fitness function will be calculated. A function program uh, will take only one variable for a fitness function. Okay, that is the objective function. So I'll take the objective value, and a return value will be a fitness value. So it will be a fitness function uh, named fit fun and it will take only one variable, which is obviously the objective value here objective function value here and th that will return the fitness value so this programs or this uh, functions are to be written I'll give you example how we have written in in, a, in MATLAB program and a Python program for these two uh, I'll request all of you to uh, see the usage and if you are not well versed with the programming please get uh, in touch with programming classes elsewhere and you have to do it that do that very fast we are not going to get into very high-end programming but we will use uh, very simple construct very simple things and try to make uh, this GA program so I'll stop here and I'll also post the programs which will be doing these two functions I'll try to show you how they run and how they calculate thank you that's all